now. We click on the slider icon, click somewhere up here. Slider dialog box opens. It can be a number or an angle. If we choose angle, we automatically get degrees. If you choose number and go from 0 to 360, you must then add the degree when you define the angle. So here we're going to choose angle and see that there's degrees there. It already names it alpha. If we wanted to name it something else, we use the drop down menu or we just type in the name that we want. Let's say that we want our slider to go from 0 to 180 degrees. You cannot erase that degree sign. You have to have 180. If you accidentally erase the degree sign, just hit enter. It'll revert to 360 degrees and you can try it again. Now I have found that the width must be a multiple. Just for the fun of it, we're going to put 90 here. That's 90 and we're going to apply and we'll see that we'll get only the even number ones easily coming up. So you see that they're only even numbers, right? So we're going to right click on the point, go to properties, slider, and make it 180. That now we'll be able to get all of the numbers, right, from 0 to 180. We leave it at 60. Now we want an angle whose size matches the slider. So we don't want the three point angle. We click here and we get angle with given size. And we need to put in two points which will form the base of the angle. The first point is the right point, then comes the vertex, then it will ask us what we want. We mark off the 45, and remember because alpha already has the degrees in it, we don't have to worry about degrees here, we click on alpha. And see the 60 there, and let's check it. Click on the move icon, and we see that the angle changes. Let's put rays in. You can put rays or line segments depending on where you live. So we're going to put rays. Start at the vertex click, other point click. Vertex click, make sure they glow before you click. Click. Now we really don't want to see these points. If we cannot delete them, we can only hide them. So, so right click and deselect show object. Don't delete. Right click and deselect show object. Thank <laughs> you.